Hi, this is the task we want to accomplish today. We have a bunch of uh, pictures here and we want to rename them at once. And to do that, we are going to program uh, using the C language, a small program that will do the work for us. So let's begin by using notepad and call the program rename.c and begin first by including the stdio.h and include the dirant.h header which will be uh, used because we are going to uh, use uh, directories so int uh, main this function uh, is the main function and it will return an integer it has no parameters and uh, first we are going to uh, declare some variables the first one is an integer which will be initialized uh, with one and second is a buffer an array of characters which has uh, 33 characters the char uh, she which is the name of the program and uh, it's renaming dot exe then char uh, ext which is which will hold the extension because we are working with pictures it will be uh, jpg then char uh, old name and then we will initialize that with no file then char um, first name and initialize that with nothing and here we are going to declare a directory then we are going to declare a structure of type dirant and this structure is called dir now we are going to open the directory with the open dir function and the directory is the uh, current one so let's test if the directory has been opened and if so we are going to do the following we are going to go through each file in the directory using a loop so while dir equals read dir uh, day while this is not null which means we didn't reach the last uh, file in the directory and we will add another uh, uh, condition that's uh, the your strings so I need to use str comp to compare the two strings uh, first name and the old name and I will be sure that these are different in a moment we will see why I added this second condition now I will read the name of the current uh, file by using the dir structure and uh, calling its member the name so I have the name of the uh, file I will check if str comp um, old name is different than the uh, program name because I don't want to uh, rename the program itself so it's different than zero and if it is we are going to do the following first I will declare a uh, a temporary integer which will be equal to i then I will declare another uh, variable name uh, new name and it's uh, an array of 75 let's say 
characters and I will initialize the array to uh, with the uh, school word because I want my uh, my pictures to be uh, school one dot uh, jpg school two dot jpg and so on so now what I want to do is add an integer this integer here to uh, this uh, string but to do that I need to convert the integer to a string and to do that I will use the function itoa and this function accepts three parameters the integer the buffer which will hold the converted string and the base of the integer in this uh, case we have its base 10 so not I need to append that string to the new name so it's buffer and again I will need to add to the a new name the extension so now I have uh, generated the a unique new name for the picture so let's rename the picture old name and replace that with the new uh, name and that's it now I need to test if i equals 1 uh, and uh, if so we are going to initialize first name with new name this is basically when the first time the uh, uh, a file gets uh, renamed we are going to save that new name because we don't want to rename all already renamed files so when uh, the program uh, read the an all already renamed file uh, this condition here we added here will uh, stop the program from renaming uh, all already renamed files so here I will just uh, add I plus plus here I have initialized the, the I with uh, uh, minus one but here I am testing one and I say this is the first time uh, and I say this is the first time we have uh, we will uh, be renaming a, a file but where did the minus one and the zero go uh, this is where did they go let me show you this is the minus one and this is the uh, zero these two directories are virtually uh, everywhere in the uh, a console environment so uh, this is the first time basically even if I initialized I with minus one this is the first time I am uh, renaming a, a file and when we will test this you you'll see if I am wrong or right <laughs> so let's compile this code here now just to say rename that C or rename with the rename that exe that's so that went well so I won't execute the program here I should I must copy that to where the photos are and go to that directory let's execute at dir and there is the uh, two virtual directories so let's execute the program here and hope that sorry I did copy the wrong file Yeah, I did copy the wrong file. Sorry for that. So let's go to photos and uh, uh, delete rename C. Then it's AIR. And here we have the executable. So let's uh, execute it. And nothing happens because uh, we didn't tell the program to display anything. Let's go to the folder and uh, sort by name and there we go now we have school 1 school 2 and school 36 so that worked perfectly okay thank you